Well, praise the Lord. It's Bill Prankert here, and I am in Israel. And I've told people, you know, for the last many, many years, there's no place on earth like Israel. I understand, you know, you, you read the scriptures and you pray and God's everywhere and you can believe God. in. But um, this is like one huge illustrated sermon. And the fact is you can come here to the place. And no, this is history. So I'm on top of Mount Carmel. I mean, come on, I'm on top of Mount Carmel. You read about Mount Carmel, this man called Elijah that, that apparently spent quite a bit of time up here. Many of the men of God love to be on top of the mountains. Uh, Jesus purposely would go on to the tops of the hills to, to pray and, uh, and to, to minister to, to his disciples. I think for a lot of reasons. One, you know, it gives you perspective. And two, it gets you away. There's a lot of people that wouldn't follow him. And so they would have times. He, he'd go up at night and pray around the Sea of Galilee on top of the mountains. But here on Mount Carmel, the reason we remember this place so, so uh, clearly is that Elijah confronted hundreds of prophets of Baal. He stood alone. A lot of people believed in God. A lot of people who said, hey, yeah, God can do anything. But, but they, were, they were apathetic. They weren't ready to make a stand. And, and sometimes I think we, we just slip into, well, nobody else is doing it. He said, well, if nobody else is going to do it, I'm going to do it. I, I alone will, will confront the powers of darkness because my God's big enough. And so he said, let's do this. Let's have a contest. Because you see, the God that we serve, you can put to the test. He actually asked in Scripture, prove me. Put me to the test. Just see if I'm not God. And he said, you know, you, you prepare a sacrifice. I'll prepare a sacrifice. And let the God who answers with fire, let the God who answers with fire be the God that we serve. And then the whole nation will serve. He was about to see an entire nation turned around because of the fire of God. And so you know the story, you read about it in First Kings, and, and my friend, Pastor Don McMurray, has done one of these videos that you'll be able to see and um, about that whole scripture, but God answered the fire. He made it so difficult. I mean, people try to explain away miracles. So after hours, after hours, all day, the, the sacrifice had been there and nothing. He said, before I do anything, douse it with water. Because I don't want anybody to be able to say, oh, it was the sun, it was the heat, it was combustion. Douse it with water. Let's make it impossible. Because the God that we serve has, is, and always will be a God who does what can't be done. Who can't be explained away. He does miracles. And so God sent fire. Consume. And all the people said, we're going to serve God. We're going to serve God. I love the God with fire. I love fire. I mean, fire changes everything. It changes Moses. I mean, he's out in the wilderness and there's fire in the bush. It changed his destiny, it changed his life. It launched him as an old man into ministry and changed the whole nation. Uh, I, I mean, fire is amazing. And, you know, of course, here on Mount Carmel, the fire fell and the fire changes the culture. And then the book of Acts, come on. The God who answers with fire, they had fire on their heads, 120 of them. And those people, because of the fire, not because of education, not because of, you know, background, not because of who they were, not because they're good people, because of the fire, turned the world upside down. And I sit here today on Mount Carmel and say, if, if the fire of God was that powerful then, it's at least that powerful now, if not more, because God's a God of increase. So we declare it is time for the fire of God to fall. And I pray for you that you receive fresh fire that you will literally feel in your bones. Fire that will consume you. Fire that will attract. Fire that will change the culture all around you. Fire that will burn out everything in you that doesn't, isn't supposed to be there. In Jesus' name, God, send the fire. And I want you to know I feel fire. I feel fire. I feel fire in my bones. I feel fire in my hands. By faith, I lay these hands on you and I speak breakthrough in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.